Hey guys, I'm Shauna. I'm Jordan. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And today we have a topic that's actually for our brides out there. Um, and we're actually gonna be talking about how to make your wedding day unique and true to the two of you as a couple. Um, and I feel like, first of all, we are, we recently just celebrated our second wedding anniversary. And also being wedding photographers in the industry, this is something that we really know and love from both a bride perspective and photographer's perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and one of our favorite things is actually how we personalize our own wedding day, and it might have included these shot glasses. It, it might have, it sure did. And it I, wasn't at our reception that it included them. Nope. <laughs> So um, we're gonna go ahead and kind of share a little bit of some tips with you guys on how you guys can make your running day true and unique to yourselves too. So the very first thing that is really, really important to me and that I think is so, so important just in general from being a guest at weddings to photographing weddings um, and just having our own is actually writing your own vows. Yeah, which um, we did. Yeah, and it's honestly, it makes such a difference in a ceremony and that ceremony having a true unique factor to that couple. Because here's mm -hmm. the thing, guys, your wedding day is about the two of you. It's about your love, right? Yeah. So what better way to show and celebrate that love than by writing your vows? Now, we did something a little bit different. I was gonna say, because like, um, I've also seen weddings two different ways, so I'm not sure if I'm jumping ahead on you or not. Um, since we wrote our own vows, like if you're, depending on what kind, of, what kind of person you are, like I definitely enjoyed writing my own vows and speaking them, but if you're not the best public speaker or you crush under pressure or you squeal under pressure slash squeak, all right, then uh, maybe having the um, officiant, uh, you know, say some things about you too. So we, we've been to some weddings where the officiant has basically kind of you know, learned what they, uh, sorry, said what they learned about the couple and, you know, kind of made the, the vows mm -hmm. just through the officiant's perspective. Yeah, um, but what we personally did was we actually wrote our vows together. Um, it was something that we actually made a date night out of. It was personalized vows. We went through all different kinds of vows that we found online and we actually wrote, like I said, just vows together, chose out different pieces from different, like, pre-written vows. Yeah, we literally just Googled out some, you know, you know, vows because we didn't really know where to start. So we just Googled some vows, you know, looked through like about 20 to 30 different one of them and like 20 to 30 different ones and then picked what, like two or three? No, we had a bunch of them. But essentially what we did is we just picked out Four the pieces, pieces and bits that we loved. Um, and so that's what actually comprised our vows. But we also did something a little bit different on top of that too because we didn't want our vows to, like we were afraid that one person would overshadow the other person. And I get that. That's a really real like fear to have. Um, so we actually wrote those vows and made sure that they were written together and we recited them at the wedding together. Um, but we, on the personalized side of things, we actually wrote letters that we read to one another during our ceremony as well. And this is what I was talking about earlier. So I got ahead of the gun. So mm -hmm. I was talking about the, the, the personal part mm -hmm. first. So. And so, I mean, but the vows were still personalized to us, but we, what yes. we did end up doing is we read our own letters to one another. Um, and we were able to just kind of like, I'm not going to lie. There was like lots of lots of crying, um, lots of laughing, but it was really one of the best things. I honestly, w aside from like the first look that we ended up doing, it was probably the best choice that we made on our wedding day mm -hmm. because it truly made our ceremony our own, um, which kind of brings me to and like, also kind of our relationship our own too. So not we obviously talked about each other and how much it meant to us, but we also talked about our relationship too, which some of our guests didn't have a full understanding because some of them were from out of town too. So it was kind of gave them a little bit of a background, you know, as to us rather than just us as individuals. And so, which then brings me into the next part, which is making sure that you kind of continue to carry that element of the two of you through the rest of your wedding day. Um, so one of the things that I love is considering details that you can use as little like subtle hints to the two of you in your relationship. So for example, we had a hashtag, we were wedding photographers, hello. Um, and so our hashtag was hashtag the Coonies just click. Um, and obviously that's like a fun, and you see a lot of hashtags everywhere. So that's another like mm -hmm. kind of a more common one, but other ways that you can carry that through, for example, is like your details, which we're going to be doing a whole video on oh. planning bridal and groom details. Cause that is like another like fan favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. Um, but in your details, you can really show nods to your relationship and who you are as a couple through those things. So if you're doing a personalized Mrs. Box and maybe there's something really special you both love I don't know diving and so you have something special on your missus box for that um, or maybe your relationship is like 
having your dog as a part of your relationship is really important. And we recently just had a groom who had um, custom loafers that had a, basically like a replica oh. of his dog on them. His dog was um, in his shoes. So amazing. cute. Um, or it could be something to do with your cufflinks, or it could have to do with your invitation suite. There's just a lot of different places in your details where you could really show your relationship and all of those special little things about it. Mm -hmm. um, and another favorite of mine is you could also incorporate it into your reception and your centerpieces. Um, so, you know, maybe you guys both love to travel and you've been all over the world and each of your tables has like a special memento that you've picked up from those places. Or a monument from like that's uh, significant in the country that you've been to. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, or maybe, you know, your fiance gave you a special type of flower on your first date and you want to use those florals as a specific, like to really lay into your, your wedding design. Um, if there's one thing that we love the most as photographers, it's when our couples fill out their wedding questionnaire and on it, it says like, you know, why did you choose these colors? And they tell us that it's like, oh, well we met while working at a school and this was actually our school colors and we wanted to honor that on our wedding day. Like little things like that, that you you allow to become truly the like core of your wedding day is just the most amazing thing because it's it's giving significance to the decisions that you make on your yeah. day and your day should be about the two it's of about you. you it is might as well so um and then that kind of brings us to our last one um which is just do what you want um <laughs> Coming back to our little shot glasses that we have, yeah. um, we did a lot of like gold accenting on our wedding day. So we had these shot glasses and we actually took a shot during our ceremony. It was right at the very beginning of the ceremony. Yeah, uh, it was actually courteous or courtesy of our officiant who like, you know, he sent us over, it was his first time doing it. He sent us over his like, what he's gonna say and this was in it and we're just like, we love it, you know, yeah. like it's such a good idea. Like we didn't know what it was because he, he called it a quake and like, what is a quake? And so we actually looked it up and heard it's a traditional ceremony, uh, but not traditionally done at weddings, but we did it anyway. It's traditional at, it's traditional at events. It's a Scottish tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, <laughs> essentially the quake is taken from a specific like thing and we decided to do our own twist on it and we did it in shot glasses but what we really the real reason that we did this mm -hmm. is because there's a specific drink that really holds a lot of significance to me and jordan we it was something that we shared on our first date and it's just continued to be something that we've always it's just it's us when and it's crown apple so say, like um, <laughs> crown apple just for whatever reason it started on our first date and it just became like a thing for us um and so by having that as a part of our ceremony it truly just made it us um Looking back, if I could change that in any way, the only thing that I would have changed- You would change something? Is I would have included little mini crown apple shots on all of our guest seats, so that way they could have cheers to us at the beginning of the ceremony. That's Cause smart. It, I just think it would have been a really fun way to include our yeah, guests for sure. as a part of the experience. We had a couple do that once too with, uh, they did tequila. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so, um, from there, I love talking about this one too because it's actually my sister's. So we did a shot at the beginning of our ceremony, but my sister um, and her husband, he's actually, he is um, like Scottish, Scottish or Irish, one of the two. Scottish. And so he actually wore kilts on the wedding day. They really played into his like family's tradition and just let that be a really driving factor of their wedding day. But what I love so much is that my sister actually surprised her now husband um, for the moment when she walked down the aisle, she had high hired a professional bagpipe player to play like a song for her walking down the aisle. Um, and it would literally, none of the guests knew besides for some of our family. Um, and it was just like the most like amazing, cause you know how loud bagpipes are. And it was like the most amazing, most incredible, like it, it just amplified in the entire church. And I mean, talk about like really creating a wow moment. Um, and so that was like her gift to him and a part of a part of them playing into, you know, their tradition and their relationship. And so at the end of the day, what I want to encourage you guys is that the day is yours. So if you want to do a first look because you want to spend the whole day with your best friend, do a first look. If you want mixed match bridesmaids dresses because you love playing into different florals, do it. If you want to have an uneven bridal party, oh my gosh, we get asked that all the time. Like, oh, I was thinking about, you know, we might have an uneven bridal party. Is that going to be okay? Yes, it's going to be okay. If you have great photographers, that is, they're not going to struggle with it. They shouldn't struggle with it. It will be fine. It looks beautiful in photos. We had an uneven bridal party. Sure so um, go ahead and do that. Um, 
If you want to have a bagpipe player, have a bagpipe player. If you want to take shots at the beginning of your ceremony, take shots at the beginning of your ceremony. Um, at the end of the day, it is your day. And we just want to encourage you to make sure that you aren't afraid to lay into who you are as a couple, to really, you know, bring that out and show your love for your guests. Show your love, show, show your personality too, so. And that's that's what we have for you today. We hope that those three little tips can be helpful. Um, if you want to hear more wedding planning tips, make sure that you take a second, subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Shauna and Jordan Photography. And with that said, We're cheers, gonna, guys. Cheers, an empty shot glass. Apparently not supposed to do, but <laughs> cheers to you guys.